I tell you what, if you're looking for groove, if you're looking for a very fine voice, if you're looking for the man who commands the choirs and makes sure they're singing the right notes, the melodies and the harmonies, the man who's now a pastor, Chata is the man to meet. Reverend Josh Lai is my guest in the studio. We'll go to him shortly, but let's say a happy birthday to a few people. Christopher Soa, Daniel Kofi Amwating, uh, Akofa Jenny, the actress, and also to you, Mrs. Agnes Okain. I'm Anyakwe Champon of Maker's House Chapel. This is from uh, Yaira Anko. It's your birthday today. Now, I need for also for you to know that on Saturday, music, music is big, is happening. This week, Akwabwa and B. Wright are going to be our guests on the show. And guess what? You get free cocktails and you get some nice awards as well. If you come in looking sharp and well-dressed, you get uh, some awards. Plus, if you are exciting throughout the day uh, from 8 to 10, you get to win awards as well. Also, Talented Kids, the grand launch of our 10th season is happening at the West Hills Mall on Sunday, the 24th. It's free, absolutely free. DJ Switch will be there, Samalos will be there, and all the other kids will be there. Nakel will be there as well. It's absolutely free. Talented kids, free to play. Plus, on Saturday, we don't want to hear the story where somebody went to give birth and they lost their lives because they didn't have enough blood. So we're donating blood on Saturday. And I invite you to join us on Saturday on the Oxford Sports Street towards uh, by, close by the uh, Osu Mall. We'll be donating blood to make sure that everybody uh, gets blood. This is a three foundation initiative, TV3, uh, with the Accra Regional Hospital, what we call the Ridge Hospital. So 8 a.m. sharp on Saturday, we're meeting at the Osu Mall to uh, donate blood. But on Saturday, something else is happening. Let's send our attention to Reverend Josh Lai, Chief. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. And Happy good New Year to you. Yeah, good to see you. I, I saw the surprise on your face. Yes. You couldn't <laughs> believe that was you. <laughs> like you said, that was a proper throwback. Mm. It's 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 been that's that was way back. Way way back. Yes. Way like way in back. Two thousand and five. When you see these these clips and hear these songs that took the nation by storm, what runs through your mind? Well, you just give thanks to God for playing your part in history mm -hmm. and definitely it's a memorial mm -hmm. and it's a joy to see that uh, so many people have come out of this mm -hmm. uh, because they were inspired, they, they know they can do it mm -hmm. and they are doing it even better right. to the glory of the living Jesus. I see. Yes. You had a lot of hair on your hair. Where, where did the hair go? Amazing how, how looks change. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. The, hair, the hair is vanished and <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, where did it go? Well, I think I think I look better. And I for see. me This is it. That, that's this is it. the <laughs> new chapter. <laughs> that's right. Interesting. That's right. How's that's the church doing? God has been gracious. Mm. God has been kind. Curry Center International is just uh, doing so well. We are just uh, close to two years, one right. and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yes. And but God has been very, very gracious mm. to us and we're doing things that I'm sure 20-year-old churches would do. I see. Um, the most important thing is that we're taking the gospel to the campuses. The campus, we're taking it to the... What, what does charis mean? I'm just curious. Yes, charis actually means grace. Grace. Okay. And I think that that's the centrality of the scriptures. Mm. The grace of God. Mm. Man by himself can do nothing by himself. Right. Except God graces them. Mm. Everything we have, everything we do, has nothing at all to do with man's ability. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. graces us, empowers us, and makes us do mm -hmm. what we do. Mm -hmm. yes. the, the stream of churches um, that have come up, you know, Caris is, is less than two years, like you say. But there are a lot of <coughs> churches that come up. Are you worried about the fact that people just come up and say, oh, I've, I've been called by God, and they start a church, and uh, they are part of the, the movement, as they like to call it. Are you worried? Um, it depends. About it depends. the quality now of... Good, so if you're talking yes, about... I'm the talking about quality, quality now. Yes. Are um, you worried? Well, um, definitely Jesus said it, that there will be a lot, mm. but on the judgment day, he himself. Mm. So we leave that to him. Okay. What we must make sure to do is we play our part mm. and do what he has called us to do because sometimes it's very difficult mm. to know exactly whether you are judging right mm. because spiritual things sometimes cannot be too clear as to exactly 
the parameters okay. that you have to really scrutinize this and get it right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you think that the person is going off, mm -hmm. but then they are in the will of God. Right. And very soon mm -hmm. you realize that this is God at work. You know, so we have to be very careful. careful. Okay. He does, he, it is his work. Mm. He judges. Mm. He called. Mm. If you called, then you can tell the person, okay, I called you, mm -hmm. so I know what you're doing, mm -hmm. you're going wrong. Mm -hmm. But if God called them, mm -hmm. then it is God who has to judge them. Okay. Okay, let's do what he has called us to do. The, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, Rwanda, for example, mm -hmm. makes a demand mm -hmm. on pastors to have a degree in theology. Do you think that as a country we need, to, think, we need to start? I think it's a brilliant, brilliant idea mm. so that it gives a kind of a formative factor. Okay. All right. So you have a formidable beginning. Okay. You have the rudiments. Mm. You have the understanding mm. of really what your calling mm. is. You know, and it gives you a good ground mm -hmm. to be able to rise in a way mm -hmm. that it will be difficult okay. to, to um, a veer <clears throat> off. All right, so I think that it's a very good thing. And education for me is the key. It's key. It's key to everything we do in life. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing something, you don't understand the rudiments of it, mm -hmm. definitely you're going to take it somewhere that in the end will give mm -hmm. problems to mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that that was a good call. Mm -hmm. And if Ghana wants to do that, mm -hmm. I think it should your, be. Your fans say, ever since you became Osofo, um, you money your own church, you have abandoned them. You don't release the songs like you used to release for them. Well, and they asked me to ask you why. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's it's coming soon. Because they know you still sing. So why are you yes. not releasing the song? Yes, we, we, we are going to do a release very, very soon. Okay. I, I did a couple. I mean, all I did was just get a single out, get a single out. But very soon, the album itself is going to come out. Okay. Yes, and it's, it's a powerful one. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure definitely they will, they will love it. Interesting. Twenty years I saw you celebrate, uh, wifey. Interesting. It was so for romantic. <laughs> <laughs> it was so for romantic. What did you do on Valentine's Day? I'm just curious to you know. No, oh, honestly, 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 um, because of this program okay. uh, on campus, uh, right. the focus mm. is so much on it because right. um, I have a burden for the youth, mm. and it's been there since. Why? Why? Why do you have a burden? For because you? that's the, actually the youth. The word youth mm. means virgin okay. or virginity. Mm. It means greed. That's where all the energy is. Right. Everything you want to do must start from your youth because you have a lot of energy to share, okay. a lot of intelligence mm -hmm. to use, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's what God <clears throat> does. If you look at all the people that God used, mm -hmm. for most of them, he used them during their youth. Right. The Daniels and, and all of those guys, right. David, mm -hmm. It all started from their youth mm. because that's where you have the energy to do so much for him. Have, you, have we lost it as a nation in terms of how we have managed our younger people? Definitely. We all know that. We all know that. We don't care about them. We don't, we, we don't have an organized system mm. to, to be able to, to say, okay, these are the, the plan. Okay. These are the plans we have to be able to grow and develop our youth mm. in a way that will be very substantial. Mm. We don't have it. Mm. You know, we have what we call maybe the Ministry of Youth, and, but mm. honestly, we all know that they don't do anything. You know, we all struggle mm -hmm. by our own selves mm -hmm. to do things that we are doing now. Right. But it's not because there's a system mm -hmm. that takes us through a kind of a scrutiny and helps us to grow mm -hmm. in a certain direction, mm -hmm. you know, especially patriotism. Right. We don't have it. Right. It is not in our fabric. Hmm. It is not. It is not in our fabric. That's the song in the background. It's uh, like they, they, they. You listen to the song. We lift them up. For this is a fact of life. I'm 
Inspired this song, Every Beba. Well, I had been through a lot in life. Um, okay. I've been through a lot of challenges. Right. And I believe that as a believer, that's how you grow. Right. Yes, you grow through your challenges. Mm -hmm. um, it is created as a launching pad mm. to get to your next level. Mm. You just must learn the lessons God wants you to learn out of them and he pushes you to your next notch. Okay. Um, I did so many things, but there were no fruit to show. What did you do? What I mean was that I was hitting hard with okay. regards to the music industry. Right. I was doing everything, everything. Right. right. But there was no fruit. Mm. And, and you feel frustrated because you think that, I mean, I'm, get, I'm doing what I need to do. Mm. Why is it not Why yielding is results? results? Not and then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. at one point, mm -hmm. everything just started going well okay. when I was not doing much. Huh. And then I realized, no, you can sow, but when it is not time for it to germinate, mm -hmm. you will think that your efforts are mm -hmm. fruitless mm -hmm. because it is not the season. Okay. In life, you must understand the seed. Okay. You must understand the soil. Okay. You must understand the season. I see. These are the three components mm. that make life. The seed, the soil, the season. The season. The soil must be good. The seed must be good. Okay. Just wait for the season. For the right season. I see. Wow. This is interesting. Very interesting then. Let, let's talk about uh, the churches one more time. And I like the fact that you, you spoke about um, the, the youth development in this country. Have our churches Help. helped the younger people to grow up? Apart from putting them in groups and encouraging them to pray and to come and join and sing and work for the church. Oh, I think that if you talk about contribution, the church has done a lot. Mm. Most of the in private universities now came out of churches. Right. So they are trying to at least do something mm. to make sure that our children, our youth, mm. are educated. Some, some say that right. these private universities, compared to the churches of old, how they put up primary schools and GHSs and hospitals that were doing half the price or, if you like, free school, these universities that are springing up from the churches <sighs> are taking neck breaking. Uh, fees. fees, especially when the monies, the seed monies for these investors are being collected from the church. Some believe that the church members should have benefited. What do you think? Well, yeah, I, I think so. I, I think it more has to do with the management problem. Mm. Yes, than a deliberate thing to more like make money okay. out okay. Okay. Of, 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 of the students. Right. Uh, I don't think that's actually the intention. Okay. Alright, because I have uh, lectured in the uh, Central University for like 19 years. Right. Okay. So I understand what goes into mm. getting the university on its feet. Okay. And it takes a lot. Mm. It's massive. Right. And if you don't do that, the youth are not going to get the quality education mm. they came in for. Mm. Mm. Especially when you decide that you're not taking grants from outside and okay. you're not taking mm. all of those mm. things mm. and you want to do something right from the soil. Right. Then it becomes a quite a difficult, a, a difficult task. Do you miss your days at ICGC? 
Oh, um, honestly. The, the choirs that used to honestly, control. Honestly, yes. Head of music. Uh, Do you miss the days? Definitely, yes. You definitely, yes. I mean, I quite, I quite had a lot of wonderful relationships. Okay. And so definitely you will. You will. I mean, yes. Um, ICGC made a lot of influence in my life. Mm. And especially Dr. Tabo and uh, the rest of them. Yeah, so definitely you will. Mm. You will. This Saturday, a big fat party is happening. We call it the Caris Movement, Grace Movement. That's it. That's right. Ref, tell me about it. Why Grace Movement? Why? Well, because I believe strongly that we have veered off mm. the path okay. of God's grace. Mm. And we were trying so hard to do things by ourselves. Okay. You know, the set of rules for the believer is very different mm. from that of the world. Mm. And that's what we must appreciate as believers. Okay. That if you are a believer, things. Mm -hmm. And how you do stuff can never be the same as the world. You must be different. You must be different. The world rules the world because the world made the world. Interesting. So you must impose his word over your world. Okay. And make sure that the word rules. And there are things in the Bible that differently give us I mean, two sets mm. of operations, different sets of operations, but we want to behave like the world. God's grace is what catapults every believer okay. to where they are. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. I see. Now, now it, this Saturday, when we meet, what time are we meeting? Are they 10 a.m. 10 a.m. at the Central Cafeteria okay. at the University of Ghana, mm. Lagon, mm. and it's just going to be very insightful mm. the atmosphere is going to be terrific are you going to be there alone speaking joe alone. metal is coming joe metal is coming who else university of ghana mass choir okay chosen vessels chosen vessels worship in motion worship in motion and then john will be john will be yes who wow. is a daughter um, of, i see, of, 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 of I, Caris, see. Yes, I see I mean, so so they are all going to be there yes. and it's free free wow free you put joe metal together worship in motion john will be yourself free. and it's free absolutely 10 a.m 10 a.m uh university of ghana yes. central cafeteria That's we've right. got to be there ref i thank you very much and i wish you all the best your shirt is very nice I'm learning from it's, you. oh please <laughs> 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 and that's reverend josh lying there quick conversation exciting as always and we do miss him i said the album is coming so look forward to it but on saturday we're meeting at the university of ghana central cafeteria it's 10 a.m sharp the carries movement Let's transform ourselves and shift paradigm. It's important. As